Hello, hello. Welcome back to Bandit Network Television. Thank you kindly for tuning in to the podcast. Tonight, we are going to be continuing to discuss our latest coverage on the P. Diddy allegations. In some way, somehow, ladies and gentlemen, the the, uh, listening audience, we have made our way over here to Miss Beyonce and Jay-Z. Yes, as I previously talked about before in my uh, podcast, my live podcast, my live stream, about P. Diddy and Jay-Z, you may want to go catch yourself up on to what is happening. But basically, P. Diddy is, uh, to put it in latter terms, snitching on Jay-Z to the FBI, Homeland Security, there's, there forth, they're on. Um, he's threatening to expose some type of big secret. And the way that you can view this is, in my opinion, you're welcome to view it any way you want to, but in my opinion, it looks like the feds are going to work with P. Diddy because there's bigger fish to to fry other than Diddy. So they're using Diddy as a tool, but... We're going to be getting into that tonight. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like, share, and also subscribe. If you have any suggestions on any celebrity or person uh, that you want me to read on, please leave it in the comments below. Recommendations are welcomed. A couple things to keep in mind when discussing tarot cards and these types of readings is that anything that I do say... In this video, in all of my videos here on YouTube, when I'm doing this stuff, it is not for malice intent. It is not to uh, say it is true and spread misinformation. I do let you guys know that anything that I do say is strictly alleged until proven otherwise. These are my interpretations. That being said, let's go ahead and hop into the latest drama pertaining to Diddy and Jay-Z and Yonce all on his mouth like liquor. Mastermind. There have been rumors for years that Jay-Z is not exactly the stand-up guy that he has been pretending to be. And honestly, they're saying that the Jigga is up because Diddy is about to sacrifice him to save himself. Now, Diddy has been in a whole lot of trouble with the feds that just got even more serious after they raided his home in L.A. and Miami, detaining his sons and his assistants. He is straight taken to jail, but he is not about to go down alone. Allegedly, he's snitching on Jay-Z and trying to get along with him. According to an insider, handing over evidence to Homeland Security about how Jay-Z is allegedly the brain behind this crime in exchange for removing child stock. Y'all, Hollywood is about to get reshuffled. It's not gonna be pretty. Y'all, Diddy's going down. And he has clearly got no plans to go down. Okay, y'all. So, if you want to view that full segment, please go over to Miss T, where she did a full video topic on the latest drama with Diddy. You did hear Miss T say that Diddy is going to Homeland Security, basically cooperating with them, pointing the finger at Jay-Z. He's the one that gave me the ideas. He's, he, he, he is the, uh, you know, the uh, tree from which my fruit sprouts from so it's going to be very interesting to know what inter- what comes out because i've been looking 
more and more into this and it seems it, it seems like the the situation with Diddy it's more than a rabbit hole it's like you go down into it and it goes in all different types of directions and each direction leads into its own parallel universe it's weird To know how many people that have been tied in to the latest with what is happening with Diddy. We have Usher. We have Justin Bieber. We have uh, now Jay-Z and Beyonce, which we're going to be looking at that. That's what the title of this video is going to be. How is this latest drama with Diddy going to affect Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage. At this point, it's well known, I believe it's been said allegedly, allegedly, Beyonce and Jay-Z don't even live in the same house. And they damn for sure do not sleep together. Allegedly. But... It's been rumored ever since the Solange incident with the elevator with her kicking Jay-Z's ass. That their marriage, uh, something's been off kilter. It's not been right. And Solange has been very vocal about not liking Jay-Z. She hates Jay-Z, you know. And she's actually enjoying this downfall, which, you know, to each, each, each its own. And she's came out, she said that she probably knows that this is going to not be pretty. I'm just paraphrasing, but she believes that Beyonce can rebrand herself by herself. She doesn't need Jay-Z. In Solange's opinion. Let's look into... What is the current energies surrounding Jay-Z and Beyonce? How is this affecting Beyonce? How is this affecting Jay-Z? Beyonce is going to be to my left. Jay-Z is going to be to my right. The truth of what is going on within their marriage. <clears throat> okay. Now, it's well, another thing about their marriage, it's built off of money obvious gain we have the the card of gain a financial money card and then we also have the fire sign popping up here aries leo sag with the knight of wands aries leo sagittarius which jay-z is a sagittarius uh yeah, so far this ain't looking good. Someone someone's here someone here is ready to ready to uh jump ship immediately. Y'all, these cards are darker than fuck. You know? We have the card of ruin. We also have the nine of pentacles, which represents the single ladies card. No pun intended. In a love reading or relationship reading, I do read the nine of pentacles as being a single person card or someone that is wanting to be single or views themselves as 
a single person. And then we also have the Knight of Wands once again. Um, something here is about to come to a close. Let's just say that. And there's been a there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be brought into this. The Knight of Wands, the Prince of Swords, <clears throat> and then we have the Six of Wands. Someone here is looking to detach themselves away from this marriage it could be carrying the energy of both of them I'm seeing within three days of this video or three weeks, three months, hell, three years, something is about to happen pertaining to three, three months from now, three weeks from now. Y'all, there's going to be more stuff exposed about...